Hello, my friends. It's Judy here. Hope you're doing great. I thought today in the red letters we would talk about prophesied events and fulfilled prophecy. So let me set this down. I hope you enjoy the red letters today. John 1, 47 to 51. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Well, here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me, Nathanael asked Jesus. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi! You are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You shall see greater things than that. And he then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the son of man. John 2:14 through 19 In the temple courts, he found men selling cattle and sheep and doves and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all of them from the temple area where both sheep and cattle, he scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned tables to those who sold doves. He said, get out of here. How dare you turn my father's house into a market? His disciples remembered that it is written, Zeal for your house will consume me. Then the Jews demanded of him, What miraculous signs can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? And Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. John 14, 15 through 19. The women at the well said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. And he said to her, You go call your husband and come back. Oh, I have no husband, she replied. And Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is you've had five husbands, and the man that you now have is not your husband. And what you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. John 13, 21 to 28. After he had said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit, and he testified, I tell you the truth, one of you is going to betray me. And his disciples stared at one another at a loss to know which of them he meant. One of them was, one of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. And Simon, Peter, motion to this disciple and he said ask him which one it is leaning back against Jesus he asked him Lord who is it Jesus answered it is the one to whom I will give the piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish then dipping the piece of bread he gave it to Judas Iscariot son of Simon As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. Well, what you are about to do, do quickly, Jesus told him. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. John 16, 17, and 18. Some of the disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying, In a little while you will see me and no more, and then after a little while you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. And they kept asking, What does he mean in a little while? We don't understand what he's saying. 
John 18, 3 through 9. So Judas came to the grove, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and Pharisees. And they were carrying torches and lanterns and weapons. And Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, he went out and asked them, Who is it that you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. Well, I am he, Jesus said. And Judas, the traitor, was standing there among them. And then Judas went over and he gave him a kiss. And Jesus said, Judas, you betray the man of God with a kiss? You know, and so um, anyway, he said, I, in Matthew 11, 11 through 15, um, I tell you the truth, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist Yet he who is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who was to come. He who has ears, let him hear. Did you hear what he said? The forceful men, the forceful men, they're the ones that lay hold of the kingdom. Matthew 24, 2 through 29. Do you see all these things, he asked? I tell you the truth. Not one stone here will be left on another Everyone will be thrown down. And as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen and what will be the sign of the coming of the end of the age? And Jesus answered, watch out that no one deceive you, for many will come in my name claiming, I am Christ and will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but you see to it that you are not alarmed, because such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there's going to be famines and earthquakes in various places, and all these are the beginning of birth pangs and then you will be handed over to be persecuted and you're going to be put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me and at that time many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people and because of the increase of wickedness the love of most will grow cold But he who stands firm to the end will be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. So when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, and then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let no one on the roof of his house go down to take anything out of the house, and let no one in the field go back to get his cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers, and pray that your flight will not take place in the winter or on the Sabbath, for then there will be great distress unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. And at that time, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, if it were possible. 
See, I have told you. There he is out in the desert. So if anyone tells you there he is out in the desert, do not go out or here he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. For as lightning comes from the east and is visible in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there will be vultures together. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And so if you don't see stars falling from the sky and the moon and the sun going dark, it's not our Jesus. I hope you enjoyed the red letters today. Bye-bye.